Good morning there, Murray's readers and leaders. This is Arthur Roy Murray for Books for the Inquisitive Mind. The book I have for you this week, which I finished the uh, night before last, is In the Company of Men by Carolyn Fish. Now that saying there, In the Company of Men, is very important. It was at one time. During the early 1900s, uh, when the big war was on, the big war. And this is a story about a teacher, a person who wants to be a teacher, Etta. She's worked, but she needs job because of various problems with her family or within her family. Uh, her sister is with child, her mother's dying, and she goes to this city to look for a job. Her name is Etta, or Lynn uh, Ellis, E. Lynn Ellis. And the man that interviews her is a Mr. Nash. Right off the bat, he is smitten. However, he has to hold his uh, ideas in because she's interviewing in this book here, in the company of men, is interviewing for a job as a teacher in his city. And the city has rules, and they're very stingent. I mean, you'll laugh at this one. Uh, she had to have two petticoats on. And those two petticoats end up being a major problem almost from the beginning. And there is a gentleman who wanted this teacher slot to go to a military man, and they have their, he had his reasons, but he doesn't like women. And there's a murder in this. There's a love story in this. Uh, Etta, or E. Lynn Ellis, and Mr. Nash, have their conflicts going back and forth, one about his daughter, and then also he's kind of protective because of this other gentleman, and the way women were treated during that time, and they, and in this uh, Edda, you see the revolution of women coming out. I don't know when uh, the suffrage was, but I think it was the 1920s, but just before that, uh, this book is in the 1918, something like that. And women have very little rights. Men have all the rights. And if, simple thing, as a, one of the codes of teacher, she cannot be in the company of men after eight o'clock. Or any time she can go ride for a ride in, in the car and whatever. And there's a lot of conflicts going on here. Like I said, there's a murder. And it's a murder of a teacher. And this all comes to a major head at the end. And you'll be surprised at the ending. The book is very well written. Uh, I don't know if she's a best-selling author. No, she isn't, but Caroline Fitch is a very good writer. I recommend this book highly. We'll see you later, alligator. This is Roy Murray out in Hollywood, Florida.